Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So when it comes to video editors, there are a lot of options available. But at least for me, there are four main video editors that I use. They are OpenShot, Kdenlive, Shotcut, and DaVinci Resolve. Now I have done more detailed comparisons of each one of these video editors in the past, but today I want to quickly highlight what each one of these video editors are really good at, and then in the end, choose one that is the best. And so let's go ahead and get into this. And so the first video editor is OpenShot. This is by far one of the easiest video editors out there. And that's one that I would say is really perfect for people who are brand new to video editing because it gives you a lot of options without overwhelming you. And at the same time, once you start learning how to use OpenShot, it'll really lead you to many more complex video editors because the basic foundations of video editing is pretty much the same across any video editor and OpenShot is a great place to start. And so the next video editor is Kdenlive. Now I would say when it comes to open source video editors, Kdenlive is probably going to be the closest to a pro level video editor because it has a very similar interface to something like Adobe Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, and at the same time it has a lot more features versus something like OpenShot. And so if you're somebody who's thinking about getting into video editing more seriously and at the same time you want to stick with an open source video editor, then Kdenlive is an excellent option. And so the third video editor on my list is Shotcut. Now Shotcut is very similar to OpenShot and Kdenlive because it is an open source video editor. But what's really surprising about Shotcut is the sheer amount of features that it offers. And so it offers very similar features to Kdenlive and even some features that Kdenlive doesn't have. But at the same time, it's an overall much easier video editor to use versus Kdenlive. And so it's somewhere in between OpenShot and Kdenlive. And I would say it has the best of both worlds. For the best value in domain names, check out Namecheap where you can get a domain for an entire year for less than $10, plus get WhoisGuard privacy protection for free. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. So the final video editor that I use is DaVinci Resolve. So this is a pro level tool, so it definitely has a higher learning curve, but at the same time, it's gonna offer you the most power and features out of all these video editors. But more importantly, if you're thinking about doing video editing professionally, then having DaVinci Resolve skills is going to be more marketable and valuable since a lot of movie production studios use DaVinci Resolve specifically for color grading. And then from a content creator standpoint, since DaVinci Resolve offers you so many features, you're practically only limited by how much time you want to spend learning the tool. So out of all these video editors, the best one for me is going to be DaVinci Resolve. However, the best one for you could be any one of these tools. So maybe you're the type of person who just wants to do very simple video edits and you don't want to spend a lot of time learning a complex video editor, then OpenShot might be the best for you. Or maybe you want to learn how to do more mid to pro level video editing, but at the same time you want to stick with an open source video editor, then maybe Kdenlive might be the best for you. Or maybe you want the best of both OpenShot and Kdenlive while still using an open source video editor then Shotcut's gonna be the best for you. And finally, maybe you're the type of person who really wants to do this professionally. You want to get into the whole world of big blockbuster movie studios and do color grading, The DaVinci Resolve might be the best for you. So as you can see, any one of these options could be the best video editor for you. And the best part is, any one of these is free. So you don't have to spend any money to use any one of them. And you could have multiple video editors available like I do and just use whatever's best for you. So that is my overall thoughts and comparison out of all these video editors. And if you wanted to see more of my detailed comparisons, then I will leave that in the description area below. And at the same time, I've also done a lot of video tutorials for each one of these video editors. I'll leave those tutorials in the description as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.